Very rare are people in government service who deserve to occupy a special place in the list of achievers and performers. Police Superintendent Christopher Abrahano, no doubt, could be included in that list for he was able to accomplish what others may treat as beyond their capability and confidence to do. Defying the odds and challenges attached to his duty as the police chief of the Gupan, Sir Chris to his peers and subordinates literally matched his towering height with the dedication, talent, and skill he could master to catapult the Dagupan City Police Station to what it is today, a law enforcement agency worthy of respect and a cut above the rest. It was in 2012 when Colonel Abrahano, a graduate of the Philippine National Police Academy, took over from then the Gupan PNP Chief Romeo Karama. Again, he literally took his job as a tall order for a tall policeman like him, even jestingly exclaiming that it was a bad idea or a bad joke. But when push came to show, he was able to rise to the trials and demands of the highly urbanized city of the Gupan, faced with some intractable crime and traffic problems. He was able to rally his men to observe the high and ethical work standards set by Mayor Belenti Fernandez, who made no qualms about extolling his performance, which the mayor said exceeded the Gupenos' expectations. The many awards and citations for Colonel Abrahano speak well of his professionalism, dynamism, and confidence in leading the Dagupan City PNP. While more time would be required to provide all the details of his illustrious works, his legacy, this audiovisual presentation attempts to explain why the man is worthy of honor and respect. On occasion of the 19th Police Community Relations Month held at Pangasinan Police Provincial Office on July 7, 2014, Police Superintendent Abraham was awarded as the Best PCR Police Commission Officer of the Year for his accomplishments and achievements in community-related projects. He also received the Medalla ng Papuri for being the top performer in the implementation of a Plan Salakob and accomplished operations in Republic Act 10591 otherwise known as the Comprehensive Firearms and Ammunition Regulation Act, Republic Act 9165, otherwise known as Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002, and accomplishment in arrested wanted persons. He was also awarded the Outstanding Senior Police Commission of the Year in Police Community Relations on June 2015. He received the recognition for his outstanding accomplishment in the implementation of PCR programs and projects, which contributed immensely to the attainment of the mission of the Philippine National Police in bringing the police closer to the community. The Achievement Award for the Solution of Sensational Criminal Cases in the Unit Awards Category National Level held on August 12, 2015, during the 114th Police Service Anniversary Celebration at Camp Crami, Quezon City, was also awarded to Police Superintendent Abrahano. The Dagupan City Police Station, through the leadership of Police Superintendent Abrahano, was awarded with a Silver Eagle Award Performance Governance System Compliance Stage on March 2016 at Camp Florendo for successfully passing the compliance stage of the Performance Governance System under PNP Patrol Plan 2013. In 2014, he was an anti-drug awardee, awarded by the Dangerous Drugs Board, headed by Secretary Bebot Villar. Because of what he and his team did, the Dagupan Police had its finest moments during some difficult challenges. Among them, the neutralization of a notorious killer, Karnapper, who escaped from the provincial jail. The neutralization of the dreaded Diaz Gun for Hire drug group. The prevention and prompt solution of a slay attempt on a businessman by criminal gang involved in gun for hire. The relentless anti-drug campaign resulting to the greatest number of arrests and seizure of personalities and drugs in the Gupan which remains unequal in Ilocos region. The unparalleled financial support of the LGU to the Gupan City Police Station amounting to 11 million pesos in 2015 which is indicative of a working and effective police community partnership. The launching and implementation of several best practices to complement our anti-crime programs such as K Police Dagupan, Bando Publico, Eagle Eye, Project Impact, 
pamaypay kontra krimen and called design. These milestones, innovations, and initiatives, coupled with every Police Dagupan's genuine desire to serve, make Dagupan City Police Station a tough act to follow. Today, Dagupan City is a relatively peaceful city. Based on its slogan, Police Dagupan, Kagapay sa Kaunlaran, the PNP recorded an average monthly crime rate of 138 for calendar year 2015, which decreased by 32% compared to 203 for calendar year 2014. Total crime volume in the city was 2,905 for calendar year 2015, which is lowered by 33% compared to calendar year 2014, wherein 4,367 crime incidents were recorded. Index crimes also decreased by 42.7% from calendar year 2014 to calendar year 2015 with 1,151 recorded incidents while non-index crime was 1,754. Crime clearance efficiency was recorded at a high 78% for year 2015 compared to 67.35% for calendar year 2014, while crime solution efficiency was increased from 35.38% from calendar year 2014 to 53.59% for calendar year 2015. The most prevalent crimes recorded in 2015 were theft and physical injuries, pegged at 476 and 247 respectively, which is far lower than calendar year 2014 from 695 and 641 recorded incidents. Police Superintendent Christopher Abrahano is a Dagupeño who made a lot of contributions to ensure the success and safety of this city. He was a think tank behind Basic Emergency Life Extending Network or BELEN 16911. BELEN 16911 is a collaborative operation of the emergency providers in the city, the Gupan City Police Station for Peace and Order, the Public Order and Safety Office for Road Access, the Bureau of Fire Protection for Fire Safety, and the City Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office for Emergency Provider. The CDRRMO has competent and efficient staff working on a 24-hour monitoring and response operation. This enabled the city to respond to emergency cases in the city. Since its inception, there have been 1,373 recorded instances of assistances extended to those in urgent need. Police Superintendent Abrahano has been in the front lines during disasters as the Vice Chair of CDRRMC. He was the head of the command post during calamities. He is also in the forefront in the fight against drugs. He is prehended barangay clearing operations, the anonymous hotline for drug reports, and massive information campaign in the barangays. Under his leadership, the Dagupan City Police Station has sustained its anti-illegal drug campaign with the continuous support of the national government agencies, local government, and non-government organizations through systematic implementation of barangay drug clearing operations which resulted to the revitalization of the City Anti-Drug Abuse Council and the Barangay Anti-Drug Abuse Council's population of our badak generated watch list. For the period in review, the Gupan City Police Station conducted a total of 208 drug-related operations which resulted to the arrest of 323 listed and non-listed drug personalities with a total of 740.15 grams of shabu and dried leaves of marijuana. Police Superintendent Abrahano supported the city's advocacies in the protection of women by immediately responding to violence against women cases such as rape, battery, and harassment. He unselfishly lent support to the city's traffic system, thereby making the enforcement of the law easier. To protect the city from criminals from other parts of the city, the Gupan City Police Station conducted checkpoints in strategic areas as frequent as possible. 
Police Superintendent Chris Abrahano indeed deserves a special place in the list of achievers and performers in public office. This is not only because of what he had accomplished, but also because of the personal and professional work he has shown to make sure our city is safe and secure, mindful of the unfinished works which will be inherited by future generations. We are now better off as a city because of the service rendered by this brave and selfless police officer. We are blessed and honored to have witnessed his exemplary works. Commendably and courageously, Sir Chris worked hand in hand with Mayor Billen to prove that we as one people can do better with leaders who are firmly committed to the public good. Thank you, sir, for everything. Thank you for all the untold sacrifices which you have labored just to make our city freer, safer, always a viable place for greater opportunities and possibilities. May God bless you and your family.